Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Bro, six plus assists on FanDuel for plus 110 a little, a little while ago. Right now they got five and a half, minus 102 on DraftKings. Uh, I advise you to line shop, have multiple books. Get the best deals, positive EV. The last three games since the play-in, he's been going way over this. Especially the last two since Butler got hurt. He said it at the last of uh, the, the end of the last game, how he's taking over Butler's role and playing as he would. So he's looking to get other players involved, which means he has to pass. So get on this number before it goes up. Five and a half, Tyler Hero, assists. Same game, I got Jacquez Jr. I'm playing him the last three days. He still ain't bumped his number up yet. 14 and a half points, plus 105. FanDuel, I got it on. He's gone over this the last four games easily. Uh, been balling out. Ain't much to say about it, but until they bump it up, I'm going to keep playing it. Jacquez Jr., over 14 and a half points. Thirty game, Dallas versus the Clippers. I'm going with Kyrie, over five and a half first quarter points. He had 10 last game, but uh, head to head, he's gone over this easily. Last three times they played. Scoring 8, 11, 12. It's the playoffs. He's going to want to ball out. It's three little layups. Uh, I believe he's going to do it. Kyrie Irving, over five and a half first quarter points. It's in the night game. Pelicans versus OKC, uh, over seven and a half points. Got it at minus 110 on DraftKings. Uh, last three games, now that we got a little, little stats from the play-in and playoffs, uh, it's gone over this three times with 10 points each. They've been playing them um, pretty much. Uh, it's been getting a decent amount of time. I played him with his uh, assists last game, and the other players just couldn't hit shots when it was only three assists, two and a half. But uh, I decided to play with the points now that I had a little more data for the playoffs. So for my last pick, it's Jose Alvarado, over seven and a half points. Yeah, uh, for the end here, I just want to go over a few things. The last few days have been a little rough. Apologize for that. I've been uh, only recording these videos for a little over a week now. I'm teaching myself, doing all the, the editing, recording, making the thumbnails, all them. And uh, it's not that I didn't put the effort into the picks. I definitely did. And the research and just the end of the season, the beginning of the playing. And, you know, you got teams, the, the playing games, I don't even know why I bet on them, to tell you the truth. You got teams that are under 500. And I'm expecting players to perform. So, you know, the more I sat here and thought about it, uh, I apologize. And I, I did play all them plays personally myself. So, uh, and I'm still in the green, but it's just, you know, I don't like losing. And then I go and uh, I'll be putting the shorts out and with the mindset and, and don't chase your losses and, and then what do I do tonight? I go, I go and play uh, a live bet. I usually live bet anyway because you get better odds and stuff. Different plays. The guy misses a few shots. You can get him at a better number. But I go up and uh, I do some live bet and then uh, I lost more money. So uh, 
you know, so don't, learn from my mistakes. I, I'm trying to teach you guys if I could. If you can learn anything, just, you know, don't chase them losses. Do the research. Uh, I'll, I put four plays out. I'm going to go back to that. Just eight plays was way too much. I don't know what I was thinking. And, uh, yeah, so let's get that money. Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Uh-huh.